All right, I'm going to try to explain my madness here. All right, this right here is going to replace the, the two ammo cans I had in the back patio. All right, so I have these two ammo cans, actually three. So I'm combining all the lessons learned and all the goodies that I had in these two guys here and incorporating it into this build here. Cooling is my number one thing. This is going to be an air inlet. It's going to have a screen mesh on there. You have DC access, light, cigarette lighter, slash 12 volt power socket. Uh, your switch is going to be a main kill switch. This is going to be one switch. USB with QC 3.0, Blue C Systems, voltmeter, grounding lug. All that's going to be over here. I still haven't cut the hole for that, but let's take a look inside real quick. Set, set my pointer down. And space is a premium inside this. So I'm going to use my 10 amp PWM. I shave the sides off here to fit flush here using this fuse block, 180 watt inverter. The wire's already built here, right? And all, it's going to go right down there. And then on the back side, so I already got this, all that's going to go right here. Back side, I already got this pretty much built back here. You're going to have your SAE for battery, and you're going to have your solar input here. And this is a cool master high volume fan. So, like I said, air cooling is the whole premise behind this. Also, going to have a screen mesh stuff on here, too. So, there you have it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to paint this OD green. This is all going to be painted here. Have a little 12 volt sticker right there. And then, of course, this one kill switch turns everything on and off. Repurpose. Very low cost. I'm just kind of taking what I had here and putting all the goodies into here.